Good evening. We're getting back into Elder Scrolls. Let me just double check. Yes, it's using the right input. Perfect. Let's jump back into it. I'm going to disappear in about 15-ish minutes. Um, because I'm getting some gelato delivered because it's a Friday. I'm craving a particular flavour. House told Papa. break out of that coffin. Come forward, you godless mongrel! My apologies, Wayfarer. The shadows make it difficult to discern friend from foe. You do not look like my enemy. It gladdens my heart to hear that scholar do. That is truly... Lead on, Wayfarer.
I also forgot to update the stream name. How long will that guy on? How long that guy was following me? Four. I came to Bankurai Garrison seeking recruits for the Pyre Watch. Hunding, help us. I did not expect those villains to arrive and send innocent people fleeing for shelter. I am grateful you saved the scholars. Now, the Grey Host was a terrible army of vampires, werewolves, and other monsters that pillaged the land. Only the combined might of the Bankurai garrison. The true story may be as enthralling as the legends, but we only have bits and pieces of it. Magic was involved, almost certainly. But whether it was divine in nature or Alessian sorcery, we have never been able to determine. I can delve into the records of my order when I return to our sanctum. But understand that the Watch is concerned with keeping the past buried, not exposing it. I can tell you that there are indications. A Dereni noble? That gives some credence to the historical record. An incomplete parchment mentioned Viridian Watch, but we never saw the... I do not know the name. I know... There wasn't... I will go check on the scholars at Deal's camp. Thank you again, Wayfarer. Do not concern. You do? I was told the Knights of St. Pelin might return it. Good. You're back. I found Janard and I see you've managed to return with the rest. Show off. Now that we settled that matter, what did the Pyre Watch warrior tell you about the Grey Host? I was afraid of that. So much about the First Era has been lost. I wonder if the Pyre Watch knows anything about the other details we learned. About the survivor and their connection to a Dreni noble. That matches what we already uncovered, and confirms the Dereni connection. Did you find out anything else I should know? A riddle, damn it. There's always a riddle. Well, I say we go to Viridian Watch and figure this out on our own. I'll mark the location on your map. Now let's go before Scholar Deal tries to regain... 
I'll meet you at Viridian Watch. Okay, go there first. Hopefully that will be the place where the artifact is. The antique, I should say. Similar thing. Antique artifact. Not want to go that way. I don't know if I can spot it without doing a without scrying. I hear it. Far. Place. I had a feeling. Alright, I'll be right back. We're gonna go downstairs, get my gelato.
好啊，好。哎。啊。啊。Two. Great, now I got another delve to do. That rhymes. Do you mean it for it too? What can you do? Is this more undead? Look. Right, let's tie out. There's a sigil right there. Don't you see it? Nope. It makes so much sense. The riddle. Only those worthy can find the way to safety. Only vampires and werewolves can see these sigils. That's because you aren't a vampire or a werewolf. Hold on, I've got just the thing. Here, a blood pendant. It lets me share some of my vampiric essence so you can see the sigils too. It's perfectly safe. At least, Fenorian said it was harmless. We follow the sigils, of course. The Greyhost survivor must have used these as a guide. And they were made for that specific... Well, I can see that one now. Another one. Keep going west. No oh, shit. Choice. Be the sigils, thanks. East, down that tunnel. Use Mongo's salad. <laughs> Just grains and cheese. Themselves. East here and down again. East band and down. We have killing a boss. A devil is that way. Another one, northeast around this corner. Lose that blood pen. Keep 
keep going straight. I think we're close. Ha! This must be it. Now how to go about opening it. That's done it. Let's check inside. Oh. remembering I picked up a bunch of stuff in the last hour I didn't actually check if any of it was good <laughs> Ooh, hello. New belt. abandoned Radha al Saran was a survivor that figures and Lady Thorne helped him or should I say Lady Ingrin looks like he had quite the setup down here I'm surprised that's lasted all this time. It's made of metal. Wait, what's that? Let me see it. I recognize this signet. I don't know. No, I've seen this signet before. Or one just like it. My mentor, Count Verandas, had one. But why would he have something connected to the Grey Host? That doesn't make any sense. You're... Right, of course. There must be something we're missing. We need answers, and there's only one place to find them. Ravenwatch Castle in Rivenspire. Let's go. Yep, yeah, on that. I need to see if there's any... Good, you made it. So, I've had some time to think. I know this may seem a little unorthodox, but I want to go into the castle through the secret passage. Yes, but we just learned that Count Verandas may have been involved with the Grey Host thousands of years ago and never told us. That disturbs me, and that never happens. I want to investigate this quietly before I involve the rest of the family. Other members of the house might be around. If they see us, they'll ask questions. 
I don't want to sully Verandas' memory with whatever this is. Not until we know for sure. I want to figure this out before we involve it. I don't want it to matter, but it does. Why would he keep this from me? I need to see what's in the castle cellar. That's where he stored his private possessions. This way. The door's over here. Watch out for vermin. We don't fumigate down here as often as we should. I know there's a spot down here by me. Dog, I call the pine flyer though. to the cellar. I'm fairly certain I can get it unlocked. Give me a moment. Hurry now. Inside. See if you can find the signet. It must be in one of these crates or boxes. Another secret door? I didn't know that was here. It has the same mark as the signet. Maybe. Good find, Vidos. Open. Let's see what's inside. What is this place? Did Verandas use this as a secret study? Check the desk, would you? letter. What does it say? That letter. Please tell me it's just an old to-do list or something, and not actually proof that the man I trusted with my life was involved with the Grey Host. What? Verandas, how could you? I don't want to believe it, and yet here it is. Right before my very eyes. Why didn't he ever tell me? It's possible that castle no longer exists, but I want to go. I refuse to believe Verandas was part of the Grey Host. There has to be... Thank you. The carts are waiting outside. We'll take it to the docks and travel by...
I think I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Del Answers, I have that letter we found. We follow the map. We'll look around and hopefully find nothing. Over on this, why didn't you tell us? Any carpenter? So I doubt I have anything here. Final seal. This is light armor. So now I need the leather worker and the armor. It's a bookshop. Interesting. What can I get down in here? Nothing. It's been cleaned out. Good enough. 
Okay, this is armor. Oh, okay. Some. Interesting. There's no armor. Ah, uh, serious. Thought it'd be a blacksmith over there, but now it's an armor apparently. Um, where am I going? I just want to get all general merchant. An undead werewolf took over Camelot. An undead werewolf? Merchant. There you are. There you are. I hope we fo look around. The car that you can find. Back to the way, Strong. Back to the castle. This one, or was there a Ravenwatch Castle one? Apparently not. Castle is in Christian shape, maybe. This is where the map led us. A lovely and ominous spot for a foreboding Greyhost castle, don't you think? If we can't find some... Well, it seems obvious to start with the unnecessarily ostentatious vampire castle over there. I think we should survey... I don't know. Something gothic and ridiculous. I don't like to generalize, but vampires tend toward <laughs> the dramatic. Yep. Just be careful. We won't learn anything about... Like spirits on the arms. Walkers, foxes. Ah, oh, it's not a spirit, it's a bloody crystal. Did it just pulse at me? 
Did you see that? That crisp? Well, it hasn't exploded or fried us to a crisp yet, so I'm thinking no. Probably not. Now that they're awake, it should be simple enough to deactivate them. I'm not sure if your eyes are as good as mine, but I think I see a few more up ahead. Well done. Let's go deal with the rest of the ward crystals. Vampire saber cats. Great. Vampiric bear. Great. That's totally not stuffed up. Hello. Owly boy. Oh, I'll get up there. Way to win a fight is to avoid one completely. Shit. Sometimes you kind of want it. Just the one. Good job. Let's find another ward crystal. Okay, we've got one left. A rumble. Let's go check the castle. Get inside. Either a ghost or assassins. But this place is impressive. <sighs> Spectral makes me assume they're ghosts. Basically enslaved as guards, which is kind of fucked. The 
This place must have been impressive back in the day. But now it's... The members of House Ravenwatch exchange vials of their own blood. That shows a rare level of trust, even among vampires, since blood can be used in all sorts of spells, both beneficial and... By putting a drop of his blood in this potion, we can dreamwalk and access any memories Verandas has of this place. I'll leave it here on the table for when you're ready. I drink it my... Then you're already an expert. Exarch Verandas, while we have your crates moved to your study, Exarch Singalis and Ulfra would like a word. It is good to see you, Exarch Verandas. Lord Rada al Saran will be pleased you accepted his invitation. Of course, Lord Verandas. My apologies. Exarch Ulfra likes to look out over the courtyard from the eastern balcony. Exarch Singalis. Smell them, Verandis. Pray. On the when you see Lord Rada Al Saran, do not continue your age-old argument. He needs to remain focused. I'll never understand your obsession with she. As were you, until Morlag Bal made you into something more, something worthy. Lord Hersin made me one of his most powerful hunters, because he knew mortality. The wolf does not fear a thousand rabbits. It merely enjoys the bounty her scene has provided. Humans, no matter how large their pathetic armies grow, will never threaten us. Come to your senses, Verandis. Come back to your... You're a fool, Verandis. You always have been. Why does Lord Rada al Saran continue to humor you? We don't need you on the Grey Council. You aren't even fit to be one... Grey home is impressive. I won't deny that. But I detest all the sitting around and debating. I'm. Ah, uh, why do I even. Ah, Verandis. Good. I wanted to talk to you. I never tire of looking at this creation. Tell me again, why did you abandon your stone husks? I thought you wanted your precious mortals to enjoy the everlasting life of their betters. Is that what bothers you? One small failure and you abandon such promising research. You had the opportunity to seize control of existence itself. To control both life and death. Such power is a cost. Bah! What cost? Mortals are as cheap and plentiful as grains of sand on a beach. Once you mastered your creation, you'd be able to resurrect them at will. How can you be so misguided? Mortals are so far beneath us, they cannot even comprehend. How I have missed our endless debates, my friend. Our deep and fascinating discussions about science and philosophy. I look forward to renewing that exchange. If you haven't, I've been quite successful in your absence. Rada al Saran discovered a strange relic beneath the reef. I'd prefer not to draw it. <laughs> relic beneath the reach. Interesting. Dancing in front of Bob. Long last. How good to see you, Verandis, my old friend. You look well. 
Our halls have felt quite empty. To parlay with the mortal queen. I have, but my stance has not changed. The Grey Host's strength has grown over the centuries, while dozens of mortal kingdoms have risen. What mortals gain from an alliance with us is obvious. But what benefit do we receive from them? King Styrik and our Grey Host could crush this Empress Hestra and her army. For such a brilliant mind who helped conceive our Grey Council, you can be so short-sighted, Verandas. I will say this. If the mortals do not move against us, we will... Enough talk of alliances of mortals. It has been... Of course, Verandas. I know you too well to think... And yet you waste years away from your family, caring for those who live short and... Good. You cannot imagine... They understand little that does not serve their own needs. They do not understand why we started the Grey Council. We have talked and I have listened. I have humored your ideals far longer than they deserve. I invited you because you will flourish here. Your dream and mine are similar, my friend, but they are not the same. This friction between us, it thins my patience. Lord Verandas, I apologize for the delay. The study is ready for you. Requesting. Easy, friend. It's time to wake up. Find the Dream Walk potion and drink it. You cried out in your sleep just before you woke up. What happened? I... Oh, that would explain it. Don't worry, it's not you. It's almost impossible to read in a dream walk. But did you say Verandas' study? He had a study in this terrible place? Was he truly a member of the... Sounds like Verandas. That's why he founded the Raven Watch after all. To allow vampires like us to gather safely. Only feed on willing subjects. And help mortals instead of preying upon them. So, he wasn't hoping to conquer Temria? Then... He didn't lie to me. He's still the man I know and trust. He left out a few things, of course. You're gonna help, or she's just gonna stand there? See. After all this time, his scent lingers in this place. Find the journal? What's it say? The journal was still here? Amazing. Let me see that. Huh. Ritual's simple enough. Just light some candles and place the reliquary. It looks like he abandoned the research before ever testing it on. Right. Zingalis must have continued Verandas' experiments and refined them. You know, when a vampire dies, our souls go to Cold Harbor, to Molag Ball. This may be our chance to get answers directly from a member of the Great. Verandas gave his life for Rivenspire, and what was his reward? Cold Harbor. Get the reliquary and meet me in the ritual chamber. He's not gonna like this.
Oh. Gels are not there. Oh, it sucks to be you, mate. It's still kicking. He is not going to be happy when he's woken up, if he wakes up. That's a stone husk, all right. Light the candles to begin the ritual. Good. Now place the reliquary. The ritual. It's working. Apologies. The process doesn't leave one in their right mind. I'm just glad you're alive. But Verandas, we need to talk. Of course, my child. Let's all go outside and speak. He's not more annoyed, or maybe he's about to be. I didn't expect to ever see you again, my friend. After we parted at the Doom Crag, I resigned myself to an eternity in Cold Harbor. That is unfortunate. I believed that part of my past was dead and buried. My involvement with the Grey Council ended so very long ago. Then know that I truly regret not trying harder to convince Radha al Saran and the Grey Council. Perhaps I could have averted the war. Alas. What? How is that even possible? And what am I saying? Haven't I just returned from the dead? I must look into this. Find out what the Grey Host has planned. I started out seeking information about the Grey Host only to discover that my mentor had a hand in their creation. As angry as that made me, 
I was comforted to know Veranda supposed their war. And now he's... I heard what he said. I'm still angry that he kept this part of his past a secret. But we'll work it out. Eventually. In the meantime, at least... Of course. Take this, my friend. You earned it. For helping me learn more about Radha al Saran and the Grey Host. And for discovering... Right, I need to get to the rage. So, okay, well, I'll let this dry out until I get to the fork on the right. I'll just keep going up. <laughs> After the fork is, that's all it is. That fork. Big shard. Be off, Riker. Our Kadok refuses to see you. Now go! Before I gut you. The Ard needs to hear what I have to say, my friend. It is imperative that we speak. Well, good to see you, my friend. I could use an ally in this desolate place. The Grey Host has turned his attention upon the Reach, but the local ruler refuses my help. Ard Kadok. He rules the Reach from Understone Keep in Markarth. I've come to offer my help against the Grey Host, but he has turned me away time and time again. Meanwhile, even here, in the shadow of the city, it's an alliance of vampires, witches, and werewolves bent on slaughter and destruction. To protect the Reach, I need to learn why the Grey Host has come here, and I need to secure the cooperation of Ard Kadok. Would you be willing to help me? With your help, we may save the Reach yet. While I continue to exert diplomatic pressure, I need you to find information the Ard will consider valuable. Something concerning the rebels that plague his rule, perhaps. Start by talking to the Sentry. Reach folk deal in bargains. They respect strength and skill, and they believe in rewarding favors. If we can bring something important to the Ard while demonstrating these qualities, I think he'll agree to hear us out. If we're to stop the Grey Host and help the Reach, we don't have a choice. At the very least, we need his resources and support. In my time here, I have heard about these rebels, but I'm not sure the extent of their rebellion. See what you can learn. 
Remember, remain respectful but wary when dealing with reach folk. They don't suffer long speeches, or even short ones. This Grey Host is somehow connected to the army that ravaged the land in the First Era. Like their ancient counterpart, I assume they seek to conquer and destroy. I need to learn. No, of course not. I won't mince words. The Reachmen are a stubborn... The Reach folk possess a distinct culture that you'll see during your time here. They also enjoy the same capacity for virtue and evil as Bretons, Nords, and... An appellation he earned this time. That he's a king of broken... He's a canny leader. This Grey Host is somehow... Yes, so my ward Fenorian has told me. Which is even more of a reason for you to help me here in the Reach. Whatever Radha al Saran begets... No! The Reach folk possess... And you as well. Yes, but... Didn't you hear? You and that fancy bastard aren't welcome here. Get! Or I'll make a scarf out of your guts! We know all about the blood drinkers and the beast folk. We were dealing with them just fine before Ard Kadok called us back to Markarth. The witch rebels are a bigger threat. Along with outsiders who... Some wilder witch has been stirring up the clans to the east of Markarth, making trouble for Ard Kadok. <laughs> but we'll have her head on a pike soon enough. Look, if you want to see the Ard, then... Oh, what are you horror? Outsider. You approach Fialin, apprentice shaman of the Crow-Eye clan. That cursed storm may have disrupted our wards, but make no mistake. It was horrible. I've never seen anything like it. A roiling mass of wards blessed by the spirits that protect our village. The wards stop the worst of the storm, but they must be restored. I tried. Meet me in Carthwat. One moment the sky was clear. The next. Harrow Fiends. What a horrible yet fitting name. You know these things. Then you. The Grey Host? We've heard of these invaders, but so far they've left our. As an outside. No. Not with. Thank you. Oh, okay, see, so I guess I'll do this quest first. Speak for a moment. Completely the wrong direction. I get that. I keep hitting the wrong button. I saw. Huh? <laughs> 
as bad as the damn vampires. Get, get away from me, you reeker. You think a rich warrior with only one good leg can't cut you? Well, the grey host, does it look like I've been bitten or clawed? It's the damn witch rebels. And they can't tell a rich folk from a bar. Aye, like a pack of wild dogs they were. Kept shouting, Arana, Arana, as they bore down on me. I took an arrow in the leg. No, like ghosts these rebels are. About the using panels then. There's a minotaurs. That's all. Minute. Minute. Currently, the sheep made the stable. Muster the clans. Are you now? And what do you plan to do about it? Join those rebels? You wouldn't have the first clue about how to find them. That's where you're wrong. Connell says they're gathering in the eastern foothills. Well, then your head can wind up on a pike with the rest of them, you damn fool. Thanks for the info, mate.
Yep, this looks about the same. This is my favorite house. Indra Hall. Someone's there. Someone lives there already, which sucks. You! You there. You match the description I was given. I have a message for you. The Titanborn wanted me to find you and tell you she was on her way, but she had something she had to look in. All I know is she found something. I need to report in to Jarl Svana and the rest of the contingent. Yes, along with the contingent of normal. I'm not sure what that is anymore. But if you're asking how we're faring, we're doing. He's a big red guard, but he looks puny next to Titanborn. Short bones, though doesn't everybody. They say he's something. Oh. Sounds like the gang's getting back together. Well, what's left of it? Finally, someone who looks strong enough to actually help. They've gone too far. This will not stand. I seek adventurers to combat evils in the reach. Have you seen them? Ah, of course. These listings are well. Have you had the wonder? This one is quite. The listings are. Are you here about the ruins of Esdrin? Oh, not me. Curious? Brothon. If you want remember. Oh well. Art Caddick came to appreciate my administration. Yeah, my friend. Johan successful. You see? That's not cool. Come on. Like a research area. Open area. Yeah. God, I love this city. <laughs> Couldn't have timed your arrival any better. Our Kata called Irana. I have heard that name during my time here. Did you happen to learn? Flee this city, with a grey host prowling the countryside. Well, that's three valuable pieces of information. Speak with the Ard Sentry. I'm lucky to have made it this far into the city. Kadak and his entourage have little patience for a noble such as myself, especially a noble from a land they consider to be. The I shall wait around here and continue. You again? You dare to disgrace Understone Keep with your presence, outsider? <laughs> that takes guts, I'll give you that. Do you now? And you want to share that information with Ard Kadok? <laughs> You're certainly full of surprises, outsider. Not yet. Watch, or at least it will, will be.
the chase begins like a song falls pounding through the weeds what fool do i have to be hit for letting you in here you're not of the reach or the clans you've either got the sense of a goat or the heart of a saber cat and i'm eager to fa the fancy elf who won't take no for an answer, huh? Yeah, he should have made this offer earlier. News concerning the rebels is a beast worth skinning. Spies in my city. <laughs> well, Arana. I know that name. She's a honey-tongued fanatic who refused to bury her sword when I forged a peace with the Grey Host. She's slippery. But I didn't realize she led the rebels. Aye. They agreed to spare the city while they look for some ancient relic. Dwarven, I suspect. They can have it. Verandas wants to meet. Then talk. I couldn't help but overhear Art Caddick's voice it carries. Now tell me about the leader. Ah. Uh. Therein lies the problem. Reach witches are experts at losing themselves. Actually, that task falls to you. A favor for a favor, yes? That's how business works here. That look on your face. I know curiosity when I see it. While I may not have been born and raised in the Reach, I have earned my place as friend and count. A genuine desire for peace brought me here. The Reach finds itself. Yes. A bridge between the Reach. What is any rebellion? It's a matter of timing. Peace. A history lesson. Hmm. Very well. Kadok is the cousin of the late Emperor Leovic. Ard is an ancient title that translates to king of the fort the fort being markarth and understone keep as for that other epithet reach folk have a saying anyone can be a king in the reach no one can be a king of the reach few reach folk will accept a true sovereign But here, my friend, before you run off, tell me about your audience with Ard Karak. Impressive. You accomplished more in mere moments than I've been able to do since I arrived in this savage land. We'll find a runner. I came to this place ten days ago, but I can't find honest work. That's cool.
hold there, outsider. These hills belong to the Reach folk, Rover. Turn around. Witch rebels, huh? That's just a label applied by the oppressors, don't you think? Look, we have enough trouble with those Greyhose bastards and Karak's. You're a hunter. Truly. Sounds more like Karak and his keep witch getting up to more mischief. You want to befriend the witch rebels? Then prove it. The stockpiles were spotted. If I knew for certain, there'd be no need to have you go and take a look, would there? Aye. Harrowcraft is what we call the rituals we've seen the Grey Host perform when they summon. Then you know the Grey Host has recruited Ice Reach witches to conjure up their storms. They Are you daft, outsider? Do I look like a witch to you? A true- Well, you'll probably have to fight them again. They stalk these hills like old ghouls. There may be a piece of sorts inside Markarth, but out here we're outnumbered. Interesting. Uh, major fire grave or the deadlands. I don't mean to. Oh, Griffa. Melina Castle. How do you always find yourself in a mess? Oh, my. Right. right. Having a bit of a crisis. I could use advice. I joined the Raven Watch to make a difference for vampires and mortals. But all I do is deliver me. <sighs> I tried telling myself that, but it helps to hear someone else say it. How not particular. <laughs> mm -hmm. That don't shirt from me. You won't find a braver mortal. There's a tough talking Khajiit from House Raven Watch. Calls herself a Dusadaro. Hey! She's looking for someone to help her with a delicate mission. She wants to enter the old dwarven ruins and find someone named Cathad. But those ruins are crawling with vampires. You want to find a Dusadaro? People talk. What's to tell? I'm an old friend.
to give. Oh, uh, maybe you can help. An offering? Like food? All right. Okay. Zenithar? Are you there? I've given you an offering. Don't you like it? Finish. Interesting. Yeah, well, I'm here. What her companion, to be perfectly honest, every last.
Damn it. This one, Tefer. Come, Harrier. Give me your measure. Tefer told me about you, Harrier. You wanted to talk? Well, here I am. Why does everyone insist on calling us that? Tefer, remind me to come up with a better name when time permits. As for later, well, I guide this gathering of rage folk, if that's what you're asking. Of course she is. She's a vampire, after all. We tried to slay her twice without much luck. Quick as a spooked hair, that one, and twice as cautious. We'll have her fangs soon enough, though. You can read? What else does that sheet of paper say? The leader? Now that's a worthy bit of news. Bones and birds guide us well, but there's no replacing a cunning hunter. Go to the Barrow, Harrier. Listen in on their meeting. Find out what Belaine and her master are up to. And I'll hear you out. The spirits will see you safely to overthrow Markarth. What in Namira's name would I do with all that dead stone? No, cut extreme of being king. Oh, he has a true heart. In better times, he's a fine leader. But we face a lean season. We're hungry. But instead of. Not yet. Not until all the beasts of the woods howl his name. I am. And a fine one at that. Well, I'm sure. We're not all like the blood-sucking Belain, or my misguided sisters from Ice Ridge, though. Some of us aren't over-enthusiastic malcontents with a penchant for violence and destruction. Not Daedra? Ah, oh, the spirits. The old ones. Yes, I've heard them called that. The world is full of whispers, for those with the patience to hear. Daedra, spirits, crows... It's all the same. Where you see evil gods, we see teachers. Cool ones. What's to tell? A fine name, I suppose. For an outsider. But what's in your heart? Not Aye. Free blood. That's what the rich is. Freedom. In the rich, we do as we please. Vampires. You there. At least I. That's what the handsome Rudgard called her. They came out of nowhere and saved my clan from those grey host bats. Not exactly, but they found a letter. She wanted to know about reaches. Don't tell me you're a coward, Runt. a little disappointing.
I'll seem since you're really off. That's like I'm passing right now. That little petrol dip bones. The interactive creation lost us out. Exact layout, but in this place. Sang like all the time, but it's more like they're not here. Yeah. Must be like Captain. Tuck must be General. Do not be concerned, Rada Al Saran. Your plan proceeds. Kadok hangs on my every word, and soon Reach Folk will fill Markarth like a larder. Excellent. With Markarth prepared, we need only claim the Ark of Zanu Keystone. Hmm. I'll make inquiries. Just remember our arrangement. Like you, I hate to be disappointed. You there, in the shadows. You can't hide from the Ashen Lord. Follow me. Fire in your veins. You, the thorn. 
You stand before Radha al Saran and seek to understand his purpose. Better a torch bug try to comprehend the secrets of alchemy. Or a mud crab. Who is this we you speak of? Certainly not the Reach folk. No. There is someone else. I s and I don't have to resist the urge to rip out your throat and gorge on your blood. But we are civilized beings. Exchanging pleasantries in this humble setting. I propose a simple arrangement. A truth for a truth. Ask a question. Excellent. Then by all means, ask your first question. I have no interest in conquering the Reach. I came here to make use of something very old, very powerful. The Reach has... Not when your purpose is worthy. I do what I do for love. Your honesty does you credit. Thank you. Do you have another? Lady Belain is an ally of convenience. Her entry. A threat implies only the possibility of punishment. I do not threaten. Belaine has Kadok's ear. If he takes your side, she kills him and chaos descends on Markarth. If he stands by Belaine, you will be executed. Neither. Others. Who? Reach folk? The Witch Arana? Your mysterious ally? I am unconcerned. Right, so it does flow towards the side. Damn it! No, I know which one it definitely is.
Excuse me. Welcome back, my friend. Tell me what you learned. Your arrival is fortuitous, as I have only just returned myself. I sensed some deception, but her illusion is powerful. How else did she hide her nature from me? As for Arana, do you think we can convince her and her rebels to join our cause? You spoke to Rodda. Did he... <sighs> no matter. If Rodda al Siran is here, our time grows short. Talk to Kadak. If he deems what you tell him worthy, maybe he'll finally be willing... It was only a matter of time. Rodda al Siran and I... Not exactly. At least, not all at once. When I first met Rodder, he was immensely proud, but utterly consumed by his failures. He tried to find relief in blood. Yes. His bloodlust gave way to introspection, and introspection led to study. He was already a peerless scholar. All on vampiric salvation. And to accomplish this, he needed to break Molag Ball's hold over us and stop mortals from hunting us. I counseled peace with mortals, and for a while he agreed. But things... I sought to make the world a better place. I thought the Grey Council could help, but when it became the Grey... Sentry bought for sent word. The Grey Host is... I'll hear no more of this! Go! I want to talk to the Outsider. The Outsider returns? But are you a true warrior? Are a parasite like these damned leeches. <sighs> That's not what you are asked to look into. Still, allow. I can count on three fingers the number of people I allow in Understone Keep. <laughs> the rest, they come and go as they please. We grab a handful of hot coals and dance on a bit of straw. Ah, these coals. Burn, Rover, right to the bone. But if you drop even one, the straw lights and the flames take all of you to Molag Ball. Do you see? I'm going to sharpen my sword. And wait. If you and the Noble plan to fight the Grey Host, I won't stop you. But remember, Markham, still begging! I should have the tongue ripped from your head and... Ah, damn it, Roar. Fate, you think I'm foolish? Because I'm the art of Markarth, and she refuses to heed my commands. Look, every Reach warrior who dies fight. Markarth's the safest place. We made a deal. The city walls are still. That's a title given to me by outsiders. You ask for. All that were left. Aye. And the word is executed, not murdered. And Ard offers food, freedom, and protection with his right hand. No, that story. Belaine hasn't returned, but she could have other eyes. I've been watching, but Lady Belaine hasn't returned to Understone Keep yet. I wonder how the Ard plans to deal with her. I had some progress, at least, and farther than I was able to get on my own. Thank you. Your investigations uncovered that Ard Kadok's advisor, Lady Belaine, is working with the Grey Host, and that she's a vampire. To hide that from me takes great power. With your warning, Ard Kadok can decide what to do with Lady Belaine's advice in the future. As to why they care that Reachfolk gather within the city, I'll need to think about that. Did you hear any... Rodder tried to use dwarven devices once, but nothing came of it. Interesting. As I toured the city, I met Nolivan. He works with dwarven scrap in the southeast section of Marka. Despite occupying ruins of their lost civilization, few Reachfolk want anything to do with dwarven devices. That's why Nolivan intrigued me. While you deal with him, I'll seek out Arana's rebels. And so I shall, briefly. You should come in as I'm leaving. Okay. 
Ah, I'm out. You haven't seen a short reachman with white hair, shaven an odd pattern. Ah, a shame. Thank you, friend. Yes, at their aside from me. Aye, you're an outsider. I guess when the Ard made us put up those scratchings he calls signs, it really worked. Attracted you right to my business. Unfortunately, we're closed right now. Artzan! Sounds dwarven. I guess that's why you came to see me. No one in Markarth knows more about the Deep Folk and their scrap than old Nolivan. Now, well, that is the other kind. You might be able to find one in Batharzel. I could sell you a map to the place. But it won't be cheap. Aye, more than cover it. Here's your map. Leads right to Batarzel. I guarantee it. You might need to do a little searching to find the entrance, but... Thanks, mate. I really should print off some 3D prints and puzzles. Hey you, Verandas has need you. Verandas said he sent you to talk to the scrap dealer and here you are. Good to see you by the way. He did. Here, let me mark a location on your map. That's Rebel's Retreat. What Arana and her people call their camp in the foothills. Verandas wants- You should move quickly. Verandas has a way with words. But he's still a verbose high elf vampire noble from High Rock. Any and all of which can get you killed in the Reach. Funny you should mention that. Oh, he went out into the foothills all right. But before Verandas could find them, the rebels found him. What's to tell? It's a reach folk camp in the foothills. Probably the main base for the rebels. Hang on, let me think. Well, her and Verandas did most. You should move quickly. Funny you should mention. Well enough, I suppose. Thanks for asking. Adusa drags her tail a bit every now and then.
Okay, I wanna go this phone down. It's a horror phone. No, no. Associate now. Aye, that one I know. Ye very well, Baron. I'll speak to him. I see Verandas' word is good. He said I could treat with you, and here you are. The Count tells me that Lady Belaine and the Grey Host leader, Vada El Saran, seek some powerful red. Let me see your map. Yes, I know that name. But dwarven mischief riddles the bones of the rage. It could be anywhere. Hmm. My mother called this three marks. Three places to search. All right. I'll help you in Verandas. But not before the spirits bless our alliance. I w Positive thoughts, Harrier. Positive thoughts. Participate in the ritual. Then we will see what we will see. Without the blessings of the spirits, it would be unseemly for this alliance to go forward. The ritual. Be Whenever different clans need a map, they grow in the hill. Check north and west. In a Hagrave, you want to know about old Elkai, the wolf charmer, the lord of the hunt. We can call on your gods, too, if you prefer. Care to wager? Well, I don't know you all that well. But when it comes to the knack for calling spirits, I think I've got you. Need a map for that? They grow in the hill. Check north and... In a hag raven's head? If you want to know about all... We can call on your gods. Well, I don't know you... Damn it.
Alright, I think I'm gonna hop off soon because I'm getting pretty tired. So, depending on the old man, but I can go to bed early on a Friday. The Harrier returns, swift. Well done, Harrier. Now, one good. So am I. Let's hope the spirits feel the same way. Hear our call, Hunt King. Two great packs seek the same full moon. Make them one, bound by common prey. Let Rach and Raven drink of the same dark blood. How your blessing, mighty Hercyn! Send the sign and guide our hunt. Look, Hercyn paints our quarry in smoke and stars. Our pact has been blessed, Harrier. Between the Raven Watcher's expertise and Aroda's knowledge of the Reach, we have a fighting chance against the Greyhound. Yes, before Zell. Gwend is brought. The ritual was a success. That's what we call. We made a path. I need to speak. So the legends say. No. But rich folk don't make a habit of poking around in the deep places of the world. The hells are dangerous enough. Still, the Tharzel's legend tells of silver and other wondrous treasures. We'll find something, that's for certain. In the Reach, treasure can mean all sorts of things. A plump cave bear is a treasure to a hungry clan. But as for silver, you won't find a better metal for killing vampires and werewolves. It means what it means. We're tied to each other now. What happens to war? Then they'd better lace their... Something to do... Okay. Well, I'll leave it there for tonight, unfortunately. Getting pretty tired. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube and want to check out Twitch stream live, link will be in the description below. Or you can check me out at waitus.tv slash waitus. Uh, Twitch.tv slash waitus on the six. Um, I should be back on tomorrow for some more ESO. Sometime. Not, it'll likely be after dinner. Yeah. Till then, see you later.